Valhalla. Home. At least, it was before Etro f everything up. Etro blessed me with Mary Sewer, I mean, powers of the goddess to sort her shit out. I mean, I don't know why I got dragged into this out of the four of us. Six, if you include the lesbian popsicles. Isn't it weird Etro freed us from being seethed out of pity, but didn't care enough to free Vanille and Fang from their crystal stasis? Talk about a shitty goddess. Oops. I monologued for so long that Caius showed up. Warrior goddess, let us fight and blow half the CGI budget in the first three minutes. And by fight, you mean a series of quick time events. Just shut up and pose for the game's logo. Ah, uh, yes, the man from my vision. I had a vision before this started, by the way. Where am I? Valhalla. Oh, cool! I'm dead! Thank God! You should have seen the hole I came from. No! You're not dead. You have been subject to Etro's selective wish granting. I need you to find my sister and bring her here. Her name is Sarah. There's a portal down there. That's all the info I care to divulge. Off you go. Okie dokie, Skip. Oh, and here. Have a f***ing annoying Moogle that transforms into a... Uh, bow and arrow sword? I don't know. Just get it far away from here as possible. Okay? <laughs> Sarah, it is up to you now. Only you remember the retcon Final Fantasy XIII ending. Ah, nothing like sleeping in a full JRPG outfit and waking up in a completely different one. This never gets explained, by the way. Completely unnecessary change. Over yourself, you pathetic waste of space. Lightning won't help you anymore. I'm Lebr uh, Lebro, Lebro, Libro. I'm Linda, by the way. Kind of a dick response to someone asking for help, and for someone I'm supposedly friends with. Oh, and it's Lebro. You should know that. How is this a joke? What up? It's your boy, No Christ. Here, have a sword. A bow. Thing. You know how to use it? Nope, but I will become efficient with it the second I take it. Okay, good, because this whole humble beginning JRPG gig kind of banks on that improbability. Wow, is that a toy Moogle? Bitch, you just saw me morph from a bow and arrow, and I'm flying, Koopo! Rude. Your sister sent me to find you. She's in... Valhalla? Yeah. Uh, how did you know? I saw it in my dream. Hey. Caius. Caius. Caius! What?! You a little bitch. Also, Sarah, if you're somehow seeing this, I'm in Valhalla. Hurry up. This guy does not have a sense of humor. I am not your clown, servant of Etro. Sounds legit. So... Epic adventure through time and space? I guess. Come on. Can't you be a bit more enthusiastic than that? Mm, no. No one remembers the ending of Final Fantasy XIII, but I vividly remember being run over by a DeLorean, and we all died, and then a bunch of nonsense with Squall in the Warrior of Light for some reason. I didn't really get it because I didn't watch the first 12 Final Fantasy in a nutshell. What are you doing? I'm narrating. Well, don't. That's f***ing annoying. Anyway, it's time for my super sad story. 
I was the last human alive, and for me, Cocoon had already fallen and f***ed over the world. Uh, when did Cocoon fall and Ragnarok appear for you? 3 AF. 3 as f***? No, it means after fall. Wait, so everyone just rebooted the calendar after that? It's mainly to make the timeline numbers in this game easier to follow. Okay, well, your lame friends don't approve of our time travel adventure, so let's sleep on it and do a bunch of menial tasks before we set off. Are we going to show any of that? Nope. We're in Cocoon! Look! You can see the ground up there! Uh... what? Worlds collide as An arm? Fades. And I'm Get guessing he's not here to shake hands! Let's Come path. on, dude! Pray that was lame! And cut Smile that out! Sorry. <laughs> it's cool, let them go. These dorks are with me. I'm Vanille with short hair, by the way. Very funny. What's your real name? Alyssa. Thanks for rescuing us. We were arrested for doing the army's job. You were making us look bad. Man, this is so much harder with just two people fighting. Time to conveniently introduce a mechanic to fix that. This seems needlessly complicated. Couldn't we just recruit, like, an actual person? Nah, everyone else in this story is lame. Monsters are way cooler. Or you can just buy people instead if you use real money. What? Okay, we've weakened Atlas. Now we can defeat him. Uh, he's still a f***ing giant reskin titan. This is suicide. Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. Quick time events. Time for my tragic backstory. Is it sadder than being the last human alive and watching everyone you know and love die all around you? Well, um, not exactly. Yawn! Skip! Let's go, Sarah. Sarah, remember this. As you walk towards a brighter tomorrow, you have to look back to your past. The path you have walked to the here and now will give you the courage you need to hope. That has a double meaning. Yo, where are we and what year is it? Dude, come on! Don't ask stuff like that! That's time traveling 101, bro! Nah, it's cool. I don't care. It's 10 AF. And, uh, the boss is over there. Did somebody order a new hope? Let's up play the tape! Hard nope. You're still lame. Hot, but lame. We're trying to build a society free of dependency on the Fall Sea without their machinery. Isn't that a falsy head up there you've repurposed? No more questions! I am the smartest man alive! God, I forgot how much you sucked. At least if we travel far enough into the future, we won't see you again. Aw, that's cute. Here, look at this recording. <laughs> Yep, that's lightning, and the obvious work of reused CGI footage. Space time has doubled and twisted on itself. The past and future are tangling together as one, Koopo. Yeah, probably not the best idea to have the sci-fi techno babble relayed by a flying talking cat. Hey, f you, Koopo! Man, Square did not consider how annoying Koopo would be when we reached voiced moogles in this series. Remember how I bobbed my head up and down with obvious looped animation in the ending to the last game? Let's really focus on that in this flashback. This is very obviously the same scene from a different angle, which meant they still had the source files for this scene, so it's not like they couldn't have just changed it to a single nod. See? I'm not crazy. That scene happened exactly how I said it. Didn't you say Cloud and Elizabeth killed everyone in the Mandalorian? If you change the future, you change the past. Caius! And that makes no sense! Yes, it does. You just don't watch enough Rick and Morty to comprehend how big brain time it is. 
Now come, Noel. Let us fight for the first of about 50 times you'll fight me in this game. And no matter how good you are, I always win but never actually kill you. Changing history is a sin. That's why I'm changing history to make sure you don't change history. Caius, have a flower. You turn into a complete psychopath when you don't have a flower. Better? Better. I, even though I was literally on the cusp of killing him, let's bounce. I'm yet another different Yule. Different Yule? Same sh Am I right, Noel? No. Here, look at this recording. I've already seen this one, Hope. God, you suck balls. Why are you even here? Jesus Christ, give me a chance, okay? There's more to the recording now. Jeez. Did you get bored of all the hope bashing in the last nutshell? Nope. Oop. There goes another one. Jeez, how many times must I see this? Maybe I shouldn't be such a hypocrite about time travel. Nah, this is all Noel's fault. I'm clearly the one in the right here. Hey, Sarah! Long time no see! Oh, what the f have you done to your hair? And are you wearing a pink negligee under your coat? Oh boy, uh, you're probably not gonna like the fact that I'm Lassie again either. Wait, what? Read the supplementary book to find out! You agreed to marry that. You just didn't know him like I did! I was going to change him! Looks like the timeline corrected itself and got rid of Snow. Like it should have done way back in the first game. I think Noel is salty about Snow. Because long ago, someone he loved left him behind too. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I didn't love Caius. Stop writing my narrative! Wait, you can hear my narration? Yes! We all can. You're saying it out loud. We can all hear you. It's how I keep finding you two morons! Wow! This is the arc light. Arc light. Arc. Arc lit. Arc. Arc lit. Arc. The big open field place from the first game! What year is this? No idea. The game refuses to say for some reason. Besides, we're only here to kill that thing. And then the rest is just mindless grinding until you hate this game. Oh, bummer. The sunny music is a bop, though. Hey, Noel! If we keep changing history, won't you cease to exist? Oh, shit. I hadn't considered that. The future! Wanna make out? No. What the hell? Is this Blade Runner? Probably. Hope is a massive nerd, despite his feelings on reading. Welp, we're murderers. I mean, I'll cease to exist after all this is done. You. You'll have to live with it forever. You are a contradiction in the timeline! Give me a break, man! What are you? The Time Police? Time Police? Time Police? Well, that's much easier to say than Guardian of the Timeline. You! No! And this boss music is very inappropriate for what just happened! Oh, sweet Yule. Poor, innocent Yule. That's not your Yule. Why do you care? Oh, yeah. I guess you're right. Man, it must suck to be a Farseer. Glad I'm not one. Oh, lightning. This being a main character shtick is hard. How did you do it? And what Yule said was very weird. Caius is not in this city? Guess we'll find out in the next timeline. Shut the f*** up! I'm narrating! The artificial Foul Sea was built by Alyssa and Hope. 
but mostly hope. If this project went horribly wrong and killed all of mankind somehow, you can blame him. I f knew it! I am Beep Boop Alyssa, a perfect digital recreation of Alyssa. Hope created a perfect digital replicant of a woman? What a virgin, LMAO! It all makes sense! If this is Beep Bop Alyssa, then the Caius we met was actually Beep Bop Caius! Oh, what? Aw, oh, man! Hope died and we missed it? You, uh, really didn't like this hook guy, did ya? No one did. I brought you this. Protect the timeline. Cool! But, uh, isn't it your job to, like, not help us? Meh. Timeline's f***ed anyway. You hear that, Noel? We've been doing the right thing all along! I don't need validation from you. Okay, well... Doing this is gonna kill me, so off you go now. Another day, another Yule. I'll definitely remember you, Yule 1659. You were much like Yule 1332, only friendlier. But no one will ever come close to Yule 1468. And the less said about Yule 931, the better. God damn it! Why won't this thing die? Bitch, I told you from the start it's capable of time travel to manipulate this battle, Koopo! I'm gonna be honest. I zone out whenever you speak. Your voice is super irritating. God f***ing damn it! I hate you, Hope, you cock-sucking fart inhaler! Ugh, rude. She thinks just because I can see the future, I'll change my mind and not create a kick-ass fake falsity after such an insult! Actually, no. I better do what she says. I thrive on the approval of others. Wait. This whole time, we could've just shouted at Hope to not build these machines. Meaning he was watching this fight and how much we were sucking and didn't consider changing his mind until you said something? Okay, I get it. It's not as good as Final Fantasy 13 or 15. Just roll with it, okay? Am I... am I having a stroke right now? Yo, how are my fellow time travelers? I'm a time traveler now too. Me, Hope. No. You are using cryostasis. That doesn't count. Just let me have this one, okay? Mmm, no. So, we looked into the future and saw the new cocoon. So, I decided to freeze myself and Alyssa too, I guess, to make sure we build it. Wait, so how did it exist if you didn't know how to make it until you saw it? That makes no sense. I call it the Garland Paradox. Patent pending. Get out of here, you! Okay, so you two go find us some ore clusters. The Academy sucks and can't find any, and this is kind of your game, so, you know, chop chop. The time gate in town works now. I found this next to it. What were you doing at the time gate? Oh, you know, non-suspicious things. You should definitely go through it. It's tote safe. And we will follow you by a different path. Please don't. The Void Beyond? Ah, the obligatory trippy Final Fantasy Exposition Dreamscape segment! I am Exposition Yule. You and me? We homegirls, Sarah. We were both f***ed over, or in polite terms, blessed by Etro. So Etro took pity on you all at the end of the first game and f***ed up the entire timeline in doing so. She's kind of a sh goddess. I know, right? Remember Saz's chocobo chick? For whatever reason, it was in a position to ask Etro for the power to help you two. And you know what she did? You know what she did? Turned her into Chocolina, who doesn't even directly help you. She charges you for stuff. What? That's all true, by the way. 
I am the Yule that will kick your ass. Ha <laughs> ha! I pulled a little sneaky on ya. Okay, and the point of that was? I'm kind of an asshole. Hmm. Noel gave up much more quickly than this. What have you done with him? He is living in a time and place where he knows only joy. He acknowledged his defeat, and now he is at peace. Oh, that's okay then. That sounds quite nice, actually. At peace means I killed him. Oh. Oh. And I can do it for you too. Wake up, num nuts. Where am I? Not in bed, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're all laughing and joking a lot. The color palette's off, signaling something is not quite right. Oh, neat. It's my schoolgirl outfit from the first game. A much more sensible outfit. This must be fake. There's no way my ideal world is with these lame characters. Hey, babe, we're married and live together. Yeah, this is definitely fake. In fact, I'm a little insulted. Caius thinks this is my ideal dream world. Hey, Sarah. Even though this is fake, and you know it's fake, would you like an optional dialogue choice to accept it anyway? You get a bonus ending if you say yes. Nah, f it. Timeline was screwed up beyond repair anyway. Hi, Sarah. We're dream buddies. Froggy Skipper, we're here to slap some sense into your Sheila. Who the hell is that? I am Vanille's wife. No, don't listen to her. We're just friends. Ah, uh, bollocks. I'm gonna convince you one day, Sheila. Uh, how about you, love? You up for some dream tea? Um, no. Go on then. Piss off out of here, you dream teas. I kill the hunt. Super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Liar. I saw you huffing and puffing like a bitch. Anywho, as my successor, you must defeat me in a duel to become the one true guardian. There can be only one. Like Highlander? What? No, shut up. Stop breaking the fourth wall with <laughs> pop culture references and kill me. F that? Can't we just be bro guardians? No. Goodbye forever. Rude. You're finally awake from your dream world! Dream world? Caius put us in our ideal dream worlds to keep us happy and stop us from messing up his plans. He thought my dream world was this? What an asshole. Yeah, I think we've established that. Come on, let's change the future! I'm back, Koopo! I was in the Oracle Drive, for some reason. You were gone? Rude. Anywho, I'm going to exposition now! Please don't. Caius was a lassie, but now he's not, because Etro retconned him too and made him immortal, Koopo! Okay, and what are we supposed to do with that completely useless piece of information? Well, you bitches complained about the data logs, so we're putting the exposition in your face instead, Koopo! Wow, this village is a sh** heap. This is my village! I'm sorry, your village is a sh** Keep. Joe, Sally, Neil. Lightning, what are you doing here? Where have you been? What was that dream you made me see? Why did you make me come out here? What was that brand of hair conditioner you used to use? Answer the last one first. Whoa, talk about putting me on trial. Look, dudes, here's a bit more exposition. You see, the ending to 13 still happened, but... Etro. Etro. Well, see ya. Wait! We'll be together again when this is all over, right, Lightning? Uh, I just, I don't know. There's just so many factors involved. Time travel, stasis, uh, um, see ya. Oh, hey, look. Hope left a message in a supply pod for us. Never really said we'd be going to New Bodom, so don't know how he knew to leave it here. <laughs> had enough of you constantly shitting on me. So I'm returning the favor by shitting in this pod and leaving it here for you both as one last f you before the end. See you in academia. P.S. Who the f is Alyssa? 
Oh yeah, the Thirsty Paradox Ho doesn't exist anymore, by the way. You must not go this way. Okay, well, Yule says no. Back it up. Why do these crystal giraffes speak with Yule's voice? It's probably one of Caius' illusions. It is useless. Turn back. This path is futile. Turn around now, because you're not welcome anymore. Uh, double pepperoni for a, uh, Caius ballad? <laughs> cool name, dude. Yeah, just leave that on the desk there. Ahem. <clears throat> Thanks. <clears throat> I'm not giving you tip. Seriously? The whole city is shifting around and moving like a damn M.C. Escher painting. I almost died five times trying to get here. The Guardian of the Timeline does not tip. Good day, sir. Don't worry, Sarah. Our best pilot is on the case. And this airship has a perfect flat surface on its roof for fighting a boss. Hi, Sarah. It's me. And Dodge. <laughs> and the Chocobo Chick. Even though it's supposed to be Chocolina right now. But how the hell are you here? Did you buy the DLC? You know full well I didn't. Well, tough titty then. Sad luck. <laughs> Let us settle this once and for all. The fate of all timelines will be decided. Come, Noel, Sarah, and, uh, Squeaky C. I'm sorry, what the hell is that? He's the best commando in the game. Cut us some slack. Can you not? You're ruining this climactic battle of fate! <sighs> okay, how about... Who's a good boy? Sarah, what the f***? Or how about... No, that doesn't make sense. I just killed lightning. <sighs> I didn't want to have to resort to this. Someone call for a hero? <laughs> And for a DLC veteran from the first game that cost real life money, I'm not very good in combat. Just bring the stupid seed thing back out. So, no. Will you spare me or fulfill your destiny and kill me? Will my choice matter? No. Okay, then I pick Mercy, I guess. I mean, they always make us do the opposite of what happens in these parodies, so might as well be different for a change. I mean, none of this is canon anyway. Hey, no, look over there. Boom! I pulled a little sneaky on you. Hey, that doesn't count. You grabbed my hand and made me do it. That's cheating. Later, world. Smell my ass. <sighs> huh. Well, it didn't immediately divide the universe by zero, Guess it's gonna be okay? Maybe? You're gonna cut to me being dead in the next scene, aren't you? Sarah! That was like right in my f***ing ear, dude. And will someone turn off that goddamn pop music? Sorry! What the hell is happening? Well, you f*** the timeline, Koopo. Later! Who's the worst character now, huh? Oh, and just a little side note, lightning is in crystal stasis. Good night, everybody!
Okay, Squall. Word is those punks and Pulse undid all our work, so... <sighs> you ran over them whilst drunk. That's hardly work. So anyway, my paradoximeter is going off the chart, so let's see what we're dealing with. Holy mother of cosmos! Whew. I got here as fast as I could. What's the situation? Timelines f***ed. What? Timelines 